Hey everybody, this is Faith from Firesign Tarot. I hope everyone is well. Oh. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I am super whipped, I'm not gonna lie. It has been a rough day and a half. I've worked, yeah, I think I put in 11 hours last night and another 10 today at my bread and butter job. Woo! I am beat. And I had to sleep on the couch last night because my bed was being taken up by, yeah, <laughs> two other people. So, it's whatever. But I did not sleep comfortably, kind of whipped, kind of drained. But I'm here. I'm going to stop babbling about that because you, you guys don't want to hear about that. Okay. Let's see who's next. Pisces. It's your turn. This reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the second half of May. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It's general. It's not going to resonate with every Pisces. Check your moon rising your Venus sign readings. Maybe those will resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can, maybe vice versa, might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And if you're a cross watcher popping into the room for Pisces, bless you. You're more than welcome here. I appreciate you. Okay. I think that was it. Yeah. Two more shuffles, and we're going to get them on the table. Sorry. I know. I was supposed to quit in January. Don't judge me, okay? I'm trying. Pisces, why are you here? The hair fit reversed. It's such an open ended card. I'm going to speak on this after I get the rest of the cards out. The thing that's popping into my head is breakup in a blessed union. Possibly a divorce scenario. I don't know. I'm going to shut up and put the rest of the cards on the table now. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to call it a breakup scenario. All right. Pisces, how you feel about the other person? The Knight of Cups. Um, a little noncommittal. You're a lover. Okay, or, sorry, they're a lover. That's, that's how you feel about them. It's, it's kind words, it's sweet messages, it's flowers and candy and all that happy jazz, but is it a commitment scenario? I don't know. I'm going to throw a clarifier on it. Um, what you think of them, the Four of Cups reversed, um, you think they ignore the little things that you try to do for them. They're they're very much concentrating on the negative aspects of the relationship and you not know, really concentrating on the positive ones. What you want from them, Page of Pentacles reversed. Um, another one I might have to throw a clarifier on. But uh, I'm hearing the last thing in the world you want is an apology. Just popped into my head. So we'll get some clarity in a second. How they feel about you is the Seven of Swords reversed. Um, no secrets. They're not hiding anything. That's, that's a good thing. You feel like they have... They feel like you have nothing to hide? What they think of you is the Eight of Cups. Walking away. Mm. 
walking away. What they want from you is the Two of Pentacles reversed. They want you to juggle emotions and be indecisive. I, I, I'm, there's no real clarity there. That's why we clarify the cards, isn't it? Obstacle, Four of Wands reversed. Um, shaky Foundation. It's my Minor Arcana Tower card. And things are real shaky. <laughs> Doors are slamming, and it's shaking the whole freaking house. Kind of happens when you break up, know what I'm saying? Things shake. <laughs> Things are very unsteady. What needs to be done? The King of Pentacles reversed. Um, I'm hearing everybody sit down. The projected outcome is the fool. New ventures, new paths. It might not be a bad outcome, but we'll throw some clarity down, Pisces. Mm, no. Let me clarify with you. Let me clarify with you in a couple of readings. Tarot Illuminati. Tarot Illuminati and the Guild to get along. So, Universe Source and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Pisces for the second half of May, please? Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirits. Hey, now. I don't need to clarify all of them, so I'm not going to. Let's see, they feel like you're not committal. They think you don't see what you try to hand them. You don't acknowledge what you try to do for them. Why is the Page of Pentacles reversed here? Okay. The King of Pentacles. Reading. What? Hello. Hi. Love you. I'll be out in a little bit. Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Hit that notification bell. Thank you, sweetheart. Still the same person. Uh, Still make different. I love you. Not a demon. I love you. <laughs> oh, that kid. He's so adorable. Don't strike this down. Here. Go on. Don't strike it down here. Popito! I know you're owned by... Arrgh! I know you're sick. Hmm. Hmm. That kid, I swear. Anyway. Page of Pentacles reversed in the King of Pentacles. Oh. You want the commitment. You don't want you don't want the small stuff. You want the big stuff. You want the enchilada. You want the stability. You want You don't want the little pinnacle. You want the big pinnacle. Okay. You want the solid stable offer. You want the commitment. You want the real deal. I'm not going to further clarify that. Why is the Seven of Swords reverse chair for what the other person feels about Pisces? King of Swords.
You have nothing to hide, no secrets, you're honest, you're logical, you're sensible, almost cold in a way. Okay. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Nine of Pentacles reverse flopped out. You're needy. You're clingy. One more. Possibly not financially stable. Okay. Five of Wands. Confrontational. Threatening. So you think you threaten to leave a lot. If you don't need me, I'm just gonna go. That just popped into my head. If you don't need me, I'm just gonna go. Wow. Okay. What's up with that? Why Why is the Two of Pentacles here for what the other person wants from Pisces? Why is the Two of Pentacles reversed here? You want to talk. Queen of Pentacles, well. Mm. Three of Cups reversed. Mm. <laughs> that makes a little bit more sense now. Okay. I don't know who this is going to resonate with, but this is what I'm catching out of this. Um, Pisces, they want you to stop juggling and to see them for the catch that they are. And the Three of Cups reversed. It, hmm, there isn't a second three on the, on the board yet, but it's an indicator of a possible third-party situation. That does not necessarily mean that somebody's being cheated on. Just don't let your brain go there. A third party is just something else intervening, interfering in the relationship. Person. Situation. People. Could be friends. Could be family. It's someone else influencing things. For those of you who this is resonating with, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So you're kind of mirroring each other in a way. Sort of. Why is the Four of Wands reversed here? Why is the Four of Wands reversed here for the conflict challenge and obstacle? Hi. Princess of Wands. Oh, I just dropped a bunch of cards. Dang it. No, I'm not taking them all. Princess of Wands. Okay. Shaky foundations, steamy communications. Justice balance. Libra just popped into the reading. Okay. 
The only two major, sorry, three major icona I have are Taurus, Libra, and Aries at this point. I got a little bit of everybody else on the board. If you're keeping track of that. Tower pops up. Well, gee. The challenge here is things being fair and equal. The challenge here is the shaking of the foundation, the slamming of the doors, or the closing of doors. The tower. The crap storm. Or the crap storm that comes with closing doors on certain relationships. Hmm. Okay. I'm curious. Why is the Princess of Wands here? <coughs> Why is the Princess of Wands here? Thanks. Ten of Swords reversed. Not allowing a painful cycle to end. Things popping back up. Possibly someone forgot to close something out. And it's interfering. Like a big black storm cloud on a picnic day. You know what I'm talking about? All right, why is the King of Pentacles reversed here? Four of Swords. This popped out down here. That's why that didn't make sense for a second. Okay. I got distracted by my phone, sorry. Time out. Time out. Pull the truck over. Everybody stop for a second. What needs to be done is this needs to pause. Pause. Something needs to be closed out before this can continue. Time out, rest, think things through. And somebody needs to, instead of ignoring what's being handed to them, Acknowledge what's being handed to them. Somebody needs to reach for the cup. Okay. Why is the fool here? Seven of Cups reverse. Confusion.
two of wands in the reverse. Failing to move forward because you're clinging to something that's behind you. You're supposed to go off on a new path. You can't go off on a new path if you're stuck at the crossroads not knowing which path to take. You're confused and you're going to stay that way unless you take a little bit of time out. Okay. Let's get some advice. Pisces, I'm tired. I might have to do Sagittarius tomorrow. Okay. The lovers and strength. Yes, this is a soulmate connection. I wasn't lying. This is a disconnect and a soulmate issue. Okay. This connection needs to be acknowledged and acknowledged for its polarities. Sometimes the differences between us make the best freaking relationships. Just saying. If you can't see eye to eye, you at very least have to be able to find a way to see the other person's perspective. That doesn't mean you're submitting. No. No. That doesn't mean you're letting the other person have their way. That means you can walk in their shoes and see things through their eyes. That's all that means. Okay. Mm. The three of swords reversed and the two of cups reversed. <sighs> you have to get through the old heartbreak before you can expect a new connection to work. If you left something hanging out there and you didn't close a chapter, you can't start a new one. When you're reading a book, do you stop a couple of pages before the end of a chapter and move to the next chapter because you're bored? No. You finish it chapter by chapter. That's how you're supposed to do it. Don't leave things hanging out there. Because those things you leave hanging out there just come back to haunt you. Like big storm clouds on your picnic. The Princess of Swords and the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is reversed. Okay. So you, you have to be honest. You have to communicate honestly. And if there's things that you need to get off your chest and burdens that you need to release, well, you need to release them. It's healthy. It's good. Don't hold things in. Don't don't let yourself be weighed down by the burdens on your back. The Six of Pentacles in the upright, and again, the Two of Cups in reverse popped up for a second time in your advice. Okay, so it has to be fair and equal. If it is not fair and equal, it is not going to work. How often do unfair relationships last? I'm, I'm just wondering. Not very long. Not very long at all. Okay, Pisces, thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate you. You guys are wonderful. Always so supportive. I think I'm going to be done for the evening because I'm a little bit tired. I mean, yeah, totally forgot where a card was supposed to go. So... Again, this has been your second half of May reading. Enjoy. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you feel so compelled, I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. If, yeah, you want to know when I upload, hit the notification bell. If you need a personal reading, I'm down for that. Um, probably tomorrow night I'll finish the cycle out. And Monday I should be available for personals. $15 for the first question, $10 for each additional question. I will not charge more than $50. So hit me up with an email if you're interested. I love you guys. Two bits. Catch you next time.